Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth Sanders and I'm excited to talk to you about how to read um, and understand a research article. Um, the, one, the research article I chose to use is a study to evaluate the social media trends among university students and I'm going to go through a bulleted section. Um, a step-by-step -step 11 steps on how to be successful in reading a research article. So the very first thing you do when you open a research article is you really want to read the abstract. Well that's not what you're supposed to do. The very first thing you need to do is read the introduction. Okay, what is this research article about? What are you going to get from this research article? And what are the questions? Okay, the next thing Number two that you're going to do in a research article is identify the big question. Okay, so what's the big question? Well, luckily, we're talking about social media trends in university students. So our question is going to be, what are the social media trends among university students? Okay, number three, summarize the background in five seconds or less. All right, what is our background? Here is our background. Okay, in the introduction, okay, and right here, social media for academic purpose. All right, here's our background. Number four, identify the specific questions. Okay, why are we, why did they write this research paper? What was the reason? All right, number five, identify the approach. Okay, how are they going to research this? How are we going to find why they did this? All right, number six, read the methods section. Okay, here is our methods section. Okay, and how they, they um, approached social media and university students. Okay, next is the results section. And I love how they did this in charts. Okay, so you can go through and you can see the different um, social media platforms that university students use most. Okay, and what's over here that's alarming is the never section okay so this is the frequency of social media and university students there are zero students that never read social media and get on social media okay number eight determine whether the results answer the specific questions okay do these results here answer the questions we're asking ourselves up here okay that's what you have to ask yourself when reading a research paper and then number nine read the conclusion Okay, so our conclusion is down here. Right here is our conclusion of the study. And now you're going to go back to the beginning in step 10. Okay, and then read the abstract. All right, depending on how big your research article is, it will depend on how long this will take you. Okay, and when you're reading the abstract, some of the questions you're going to ask yourself is, does it match what the author said in the paper? Okay, and does it fit with why you chose to read that paper? Okay, I chose to re read it because I am a university student and I wanted to see what the social media trends were. All right, and then number 11, what you always need to remember is that a research paper is done by individuals. Okay, so an individual's decision on something and their research on something doesn't mean it would be the same as yours. So you need to go and you need to cross check. Okay, to make sure that all everything and all of the information is accurate. All right, even looking here in our abstract, it states the sample size comprised of 600 students taken through convenient sampling technique. All right, so that is not all university students in the world. That's the 600 they decided to use in convenient sampling technique. All right. Some of the things we've talked about in class is the different type of sampling techniques. Convenient just means that was the easiest group that they could possibly get to. Okay, and then to, to cite this and make sure we um, talk about who wrote this research paper. Okay, it is here in the top. All right, and again, just to go through... This is a short research paper. When I started looking at research papers, there were some really, really long ones. But this is just a short one. It just goes through the steps of a research paper. And what I did is I went through the steps of how to read and interpret a research paper. Here is all the citation for you to make sure all of that is referenced. Thank you. Bye-bye.